Well, hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video and spending a portion of your day with me. It really means a lot to me. Today, I'll be sharing with you my, my project graveyard finale for 2023. I absolutely love this project. This is my second year participating, and if Emily does bring it back next year, I will definitely participate in this. I did put some harder products in here, but I wanted to, my goal with this project, since it is only six months, was to put a dent, a huge dent in things so I could potentially pan them for next year because I have hit my makeup empty goal for 2023. But if you are interested in my finale for this project, then go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> my beautiful friends so this was created by the lovely emily of emily and max um you can follow along with a ha hashtag project graveyard or graveyard project pan it runs from april 30th to halloween october 31st halloween was yesterday for me um i got off school today i gotta work tonight so i want to film this finale so i can either put away these products or potentially use them out if i'm super close to finishing them but um, you pick around five, five to ten products. I picked eight this year. Two categories, resurrection and collecting cobwebs. Resurrection, they were in a previous project pen and you didn't quite hit your goal. Collecting cobwebs, dusty old makeup that you have not finished or forgot about <laughs> or nearing expiration. So I picked eight in the resurrection category. I picked, where are you? my Laura Geller blush uh Laura Geller blush in pink grapefruit absolutely beautiful it is a more shimmery blush but I still love it I love this formula it can go good all year long I have used this 35 times in total since April is this my everyday blush no because I do have it had it on this morning but <laughs> Um, I got dressed at eight, or like 9.30 for school. It is almost 4 o'clock. So I've had it on quite some time and you can kind of still see it. But uh, my initial weight was 40. No, my initial weight was 48.75 grams after, fa no, after 35 uses. It brought it down to 48.41 grams. Not the best, but it's definitely, the dome was already... I had no dome once I started, but now you can kind of see an indention. So this is definitely potential finish for next year, which is my goal. It was my birthday. I did get my Halloween birthday nails, so I'm feeling all the vampy vibes. I love me some vampy vibes. Next from Resurrection, it was this Laura Geller Gilded Honey. We all know this is a classic. I like Laura Geller products. Gilded Honey, beautiful highlight. Can use this all the time i would have more uses except i wasn't in a highlighting phase in the intro it weighed 22.15 grams throughout the course of this project i used this 51 times bringing it down to 21.90 grams 51 times in six months is quite a lot for me because i have boo koodles and boo koodles of highlighters and I have boo of blushers. I have boo of every category in my collection. Next was not the best, but it was, um, this was part of my 2023 pants of plan. It is this Victoria's Secret Pleasure Blush. I wanted to get more use on it. Unfortunately, I only brought it, I only used it seven times. Um, I am working on a project graveyard, but I know I don't care for sheeny, shimmery blushes as they pretty much are very similar. So I want to finish this. I don't think that I can, but my weight did go down from 33.21 grams to 33.06 grams. I think that's kind of a lot, especially for a blush. So I am taking away from the outer rings. If I can't finish it this if I can't finish this this year, I will definitely finish this next year. Also from Resurrection. Oh, I need to measure them. Okay. Next is from Resurrection as well. It is my MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick. And that's a MAC 
Everyone knows what Velvet Tilly looks like. So beautiful. I love it. In the intro, it weighed 20 grams even. After using it 43 times, I brought it down to 1941. And my line markings are pretty damn impressive. Uh, if I don't say so myself. So that was in the intro. It was steady progress throughout each update. But I'm super happy with that. That for a lipstick. For me to use a lipstick 43 times, that is some serious dedication because i have loads and loads and loads of lipsticks i love this i'm going to retire it for a little bit and maybe work on another nude but this is just it goes with everything if i don't know what i want to wear boom this one and that was a kind of goal with my next one i just want to put a good dent in it as mac is very expensive so i wanted to get my money's worth next is collecting cobwebs all my liners get neglected look at this baby compared to This is a full size, probably barely even used MAC. So yeah, I put some progress, I put some dedication into panning this. And um, in the intro it weighed, it feels so much smaller now, I'm super happy. 47.77 grams after 82 uses in six months, I used it for, uh, it's down to 4.16 grams. And here, sorry for that finger, here it started off here it went down to here so that is quite a lot i love this oh this is mac whorl i made sure i made sure that those paired really well together i would use this without the mac and i would use it with other things as well this is just a perfect nude and it just goes to show me i don't need to be buying lip liners i don't use them i have don't judge me lip liners up the wazoo up the wazoo i have lip liners so you're going back in there kind of hidden and yeah i'm super happy i got 82 uses on that so i know i probably and that took six months with dedication i don't know how i'll do if i use a whole lip liner a whole year but i love to trade out my colors i didn't wear a lip liner today i kind of was filming on the whim but I was super happy with my lipstick and my lip liner and the two foundations in this project. Next is collecting cobwebs. It is um, my Ofra Gloss from Millie. Um, I've ranted and raved kind of about this one. Just gloss. I'm um, Teacher Loves Beauty said this one does feel gritty. It does feel gritty. So I was like, you know what? Um, I have two because Samantha March. Y'all know the shit with, with her, so she is just... I don't need to go on another rant about her. Uh, things have recently pissed me off about her as well, but I'm not going to dare go into that because... Um, yeah, I'm not going to go into that. Um, but... She just makes me angry. <laughs> so, eight uses only on that, but whatever. We're not even going to talk about that. Number seven, collecting cobwebs, is my IT Cosmetics CC Cream Illumination. I've only used this eight times as well. It did go down to 42.48 grams to 36.81 grams. Um, there's still quite a bit in here, but I need to work on it. But this is a little bit darker for me right now. So I was really focusing on this next one. This is a potential empty. This, I'm scraping the end. So basically, this is my only empty. Um, in the intro, it weighed 60.11 grams. Today, after 42 uses, it weighs 37.81 grams. It is like, there's really nothing. So I'm having to like dump some out on the back of my hand. Uh, I don't even know if there's a stopper because it's a dropper. Hey, that rhymes. So yeah, this will definitely be an empty very, very soon. But maybe a couple of more uses maybe two at the max and i'm done with that guy i will freshen up and redo my makeup for work tonight potentially finishing that by next week this will be my focus so i'm calling this an empty we have one empty and great progress on a lot of things let me know how you did in this project this is one of my favorites i will continue to participate in it I just love it because it's update every other month, which is kind of what I do with my projects. It lasts six months. You don't get bored of the stuff. So I'm all for this project. 
I think I've only watched one finale because I've been super busy with school, but I'm going to try to get some rest before I work tonight. Um, and yeah, I will put a post in my community tab about that one, but I love you all. Let me know what you are finishing, what you are super close to. If you have been finishing off lipsticks, please let me know down below. I need to update a lot of projects. I saw I kind of lost some followers I haven't uploaded in two weeks, but school has been crazy. But it's okay. I love you all. If you're here to the end, please leave me a Halloween emoji. This Day of the Dead is actually today, so leave me a little dead emoji. I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.